Hey everybody, this is Brandon with Input Club here and we're going to cover how the configurator works today. We've had a lot of requests on this so I'm going to go ahead and make a video just to give you the basics and to cover a few minor things on how the configurator works. So by now you've received a, an Infinity keyboard either an Ergodox, a White Fox, or a 60% and now you want to flash new stuff on it. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to configurator.inputclub.com and you're going to get this page, essentially. There's a drop-down menu up here on the top left, and that is for selecting which keyboard you have. Now, um, for the White Fox, you just select whichever one you have. For the Ergodox, you select this one. You'll notice there's two here, MD1 and MD1.1. So in the old... 60% keyboards. This only pertains to, I believe, the first run of 60% Infinity keyboards where they do not have any LEDs. That would be MD1 is the one you want to select there. And the two different layouts. You've got Hacker and Standard. You don't need to worry about blank. Just pick Hacker or Standard. Ignore the blank one for now. It's going to go away in the future anyway. Now, MD1.1, this is for all versions with an LED with LEDs in them. So not just if your keyboard has LEDs, but if the PCB is LED capable, this is the one you want to use. Because of the back end is different, they have to be two different configurators. That's why we have two different ones here. So it's not just if it has LEDs, it's if the PCB is LED capable, you need to use MD1.1. If it is not, you use MD1 for now. The, the names will change in the future. I'll update the video when it changes.